And so some form of life is, is producing these as a communication. Uh, I think it's a ramp up. It's sort of like, you know, I was talking about at the very beginning, I was doing the Mayan symbols. Just, I'm sculpting them, you know? And it's like, you know, I'm getting all these messages. Well, crop circles are a great way for an interaction of extraterrestrials. Very ethical. Because nobody has to look. You know, there's nobody hurt. The crops actually grow better next next season. There's nothing nothing damaged. It's very very uh, soft touch. Peaceful geometry. Yeah. yeah. And what happens when people see them is they they get an impression from it. Whatever the impression, it's talking to their intuition. Yes. Yes. So I didn't understand in the beginning when uh, with the words next to the timelines. I have two questions. Mm-hmm. Were those words put in there from patterns that people have seen from history, or were those words inscripted on the rock? From what we've seen in history. Okay. Yeah. And then what happens with once this calendar is finished? Mm-hmm. Uh, I imagine that's the 20-day cycle, and then when that's all done, mm-hmm. then what? Well, what happens? The reason the calendar ends is because more and more happens in every moment than ever before. Faster and faster and faster, more and more happening until finally, absolutely everything which is infinitely possible all happens at the same time. Which is the truth in the first place. (laughs) It's just that our consciousness hasn't caught up to that yet. That's what this evolution is about. So once we get to that point, there is no, not one single limit of time and space whatsoever. End of Mayan calendar. End of calendars. And open to your own personal creation of whatever it is that you wish to experience with no limit whatsoever. Nor on anybody else either. Is that what Fred Green talks about? Zero point? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly the same term. Zero point on his, he's talking about the electromagnetic shutdown of our system, which means the end of your mind. The mind is electromagnetic. It's not your brain. It's a field. More like your aura is is your mind. It's all the mental pictures that you've got. All those are electromagnetic. When the electromagnetic field falls, the mind is gone. So that's but that's a step or stage toward uh, having no limit because all the limits only exist in your mind. So. Did that answer that question? Okay. Yes. A couple more questions, then we'll go have cookies and go to bed. Did the Mayas receive information of what was the the creation purpose? Do they know? What was the creation purpose? Or they just were given the calendar? Uh, the Maya that I have met with, in the current living Maya, they didn't have a, uh, to me, didn't present a clear idea of that. They knew that they, that they have the pattern and that the prophecies are important. They knew that they could predict what was going to happen. And that seems to be where their consciousness right now is mostly focused, is on providing the warnings of what might happen, or what, what is going to happen in, uh, in the future. That seems to be most of their focus. Now another question. Do they have any uh, type of connection with other civilizations in their time? Uh, I believe so. Like Looking at the inscriptions, yeah, I, I think so. In fact, it, it looks like the Mayan civilization came from the Olmecs, and the Olmecs more than likely came from Atlantis. So, along with the people, the Celts and, and the Egyptians and the Phoenicians, and there's there's Phoenician ships that are crashed off of the Florida coast. I mean, I've, I've met people who have dived on them and brought up vessel, you know, urns off the floor coast. So, yeah, there was lots of enterprise. Mm-hmm. 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 This is a general, okay. question. general question. Probably. I would mention it to you. If anybody knows, um, 
about the super ionized water? Oh, yeah. Um, the, 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 the angel water. Angel water from Drungolo Makizadek? The Turkish Turkish water? I don't know. Has anybody tried that stuff? I, uh, a few years ago, I had an uh, uh, opportunity to try some. What did you think? Hmm? You uh, think? I thought it was water. <laughs> Is it from a special well? Or? No, it's a process, supposedly. Tuning? Tuning? Uh, supposedly, it was a process, yeah, in Turkey that they were, they were producing. Uh, ionized water. But there's water everywhere all over the place now. Mm -hmm. you know? mm. Okay, well, uh, two more questions, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So, one back here. I wanted to ask you about what you did. Tuning's talked about how all the ships we're going through right now are not really Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really important. <laughs> well, these changes that are going to come, the faster and faster things change. The bigger and bigger the system is you have, the less, the, the slower it changes. The bigger the system, the slower it changes. Like an aircraft carrier, for instance, like the Enterprise, it takes three miles for it to turn around. A speedboat, you know, and you're back the other way. So you look at our society, the momentum, the inertia that we've built up, going in this one direction and gobbling and mashing things as we go, we have really got a lot going on, and we're way up here above anything natural. And when the support finally comes out, boom, it's going to be like Wiley Coyote over the Grand Canyon. You know, it's just a long ways down. On the other hand, the poor Maya, the very poor, poor Maya, mm -hmm. that haven't, don't have a nickel to rub together. These guys are going to be absolutely fine. Nothing is going to change in their world. They're going to be gathering coconuts, and they're going to be, you know, eating lobsters, and the same as they're doing all the way. So, all of a sudden, these people who were trying to help by giving them refrigerators and electric mixers and <laughs> all of a sudden they're going to be just fine. And there's people here in the United States going to be horribly upset that there's no Dream Whip at the store. <laughs> so, yeah, not a lot.